Hey guys, <laughs> welcome back to my channel guys. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad and make sure that you are following along in the chatter box. Um, it is $1.99 to join. You do have to be at least 18 years old. The link is in the description bar. Did I tell you guys that? Click the bell to be a part of the notification card. The notifications be a part of the notification squad and subscribe to the channel click the subscribe button don't y'all get tired of hearing that that crap get oh i can't keep saying it on every video i gotta come up with something better i think everybody on youtube know that you're supposed to subscribe but i don't know why we have to say it i guess we have to remind y'all but anyway so i'm here with cody bear cody bear is the cody bear sculpt by laura tuzaraz and i've been thinking Here's what I've been thinking. <laughs> no, since he is, he is a prototype, um, but he is not for sale. And because he's not for sale, I was thinking, should I keep his name Cody? Yes, I think we have to keep his name Cody, but I think everybody's gonna keep their baby name Cody, right? So, I don't know. He looks like a Tyler too. So, I don't know. But y'all tell me what y'all think. Anyway, I bought this specifically for him, so it's like every photo he's in it. And I plan to take his piggies out, but I have such a hard time doing it. I like it. I like him with the little uh, knots in his head, right? Um. So. And you know you guys can't he has cute little bottom lashes and you guys can't see that in public i mean in public <laughs> you can't see it on in in on camera um and i'm so proud of my eyebrows <laughs> i've come a long ways like stacy said it's still got it's still i still want to continue to grow but i really love the way his eyebrows came out um but what was I going to say? Um, so, we see a lot of people saying they're not doing customs um, and they're doing buy it nows. And a lot of people, and I talk about this all the time, and I'm just going to go back about uh, with it again. Um, I'm going to tell you guys why a lot of artists don't like to do customs. And then I'm going to tell you how I feel. Um, no, I don't even want to talk about it. Never mind. Y'all tired of hearing about that too, I'm sure. Anyway, let's talk about Cody. He needs to be changed out of this. He needs to be put on something else. I didn't bring him something else over here to put on, which is crazy. So, it's just going to be... So, does that mean you're just going to be in nothing? If I take this off of you, <laughs> um, I think when we're buying babies, sometimes like you get caught up in the clothes and what they're wearing. You should be able to love the baby in just the cloth. If you need to dress the baby up to love it, then maybe you're more into the, maybe you're just more into the sculpt. And the size, not so much of the paintwork and the baby itself, right? I don't know. I pick my babies out by the sculpt. Like, I have to love the sculpt first. Then, for reborns, I have to love the painting. And then, you know, so on and so forth. He's a big boy. I could get his cheek out. So, yeah, so see, he's a big, he's a big, see, I'm a big boy, but he is super cute on my camera. Right. Oh, can I go up? Oh, that's as high as it is. Okay, I was trying to go up so I don't have to slant him, but he's a, he's a big boy, but he's so cute. This is his, this is such a cute skull, like. My next baby is going to be a chocolate one. I don't know how chocolate, but it probably at least my skin tone and maybe a little darker, but that's going to be my 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 next one. That's what color I'm going to paint it. 
um, because like I told you, my grandma, not my grandma, that I'm lot. My grandbaby is a smiler all the freaking time. She's always smiling and laughing. So um, I think that she should, that I should paint one of these in her skin tone. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, but yeah, I think when you're buying, when you're buying babies, I think the biggest thing for most most people that sell in, they're looking for a non-problematic transaction. And when I say that, I mean like, I'm looking for a transaction where I'm going to, you know, you see the baby, you like it, you want it, okay, boom. I either send you an invoice or you send the money, you know, it don't have to be friends and family. You know, because we're not friends and we show not family. Um, just, you know, send it through PayPal. And, you know, that's that. And, you know, boom, I ship, send you a tracking number and you get the baby. Um, there's two things that people do. Um, that one thing that people do is they think you have to become friends. And that's not necessarily so. And some people don't understand it. You really don't have time to like have long drawn out conversations about nothing. Um, because for one, it's not going to get you a lower price. Two, it's not going to make any difference in the way you're, the outcome of your baby. So three, it just complicate things, the relationship between you and the seller, because Either you or the seller will feel some type of way when it comes to having to talk about business issues or concerns pertaining to the transaction. Example, um, I'm going to give a buyer's first. Me and, me and this artist been chatting it up for a while. We're cool. Everything, you know, I know a little bit about her story. She know a little bit about mine. Now I feel empathy for her. But... Um, she did the baby. I asked for a light skin baby. She did a dark skin baby. And now I don't want to tell her because I know she really needs the money because I know her situation. And, but that's not what I asked her for. So now I'm just going to get it and just keep it for a little while. And then maybe I'll just sell it. And when I sell it, I paid 1500 for the baby, but because it's second hand and I'm having a hard time selling. Now I gotta sell it for $1,100. So now I lost $400 just because I had empathy for my friend, which should have been strictly a business relationship. Had I not had empathy and learned that her cat, dog, pig, and cousin died, I would have just said, hey, that's not the color I asked for. And I would have not gotten that baby and she would have had to either redo it or, um, refund me my money or something it would have been a different type of scenario flip side seller now i've been talking to the buyer i understand this is the buyer's first baby i really feel i'm excited for her i feel obligated to do a little bit more for her because it's her first baby i really love her she just seems so friendly and nice and i really care about her uh she don't really have the money like that boom you know what I usually charge $1,500, but I'm going to charge you $1,300. Boom. You sell the baby. She get the baby. Keep it a week. Sell it for $1,700. <laughs> this bitch. <laughs> That's how you be feeling like, what? I thought you. Or or you sell it to her for $1,300. You normally sell for $1,500 because you, you really like this buyer. And then she gets the baby home. Next thing you know. Boom, she got a Romy baby coming. I thought she was broke. You lying chick. You know what I mean? Like, okay. Those are just generic situations. There's other ones that get a little bit more complex. Now, I'm not saying that you can't be friends with the the buyer. The seller and buyers can't, artists and collectors can't interact. Or, you know, but you got to have a, a very clear boundary between the business side and the personal side. Um, you got to be able to still say, hey, I don't like that. Or, hey, you know, this and other. 
but most sellers are looking for people that genuinely love their work when it comes to this industry because usually if people genuinely love your work they really pretty much even if you do go a little bit off of their vision they're gonna love it even more because they're gonna be like dang i didn't even think about to do that but that looks great that's why i chose you to be my artist you know that's the kind of people that artists like to work with um not necessarily people like um you know i was thinking like i want you know three shades darker eyes and could you have like four streaks in the eyes instead of two streaks in the eyes um can you look for the perfect color like and then you know they got their eye all up to the screen like you know here's my eye color here like you know i want you to get that you know and you know it's girl sat down somewhere sat down somewhere they got simple colors ain't no uh shaquana eyebrow eyes and um you know shelly uh lip color and all that no there's brown black blue green gray you know i mean when you start being so specific for one either it's gonna irritate the hell of the artist or it's gonna frustrate them trying to reach your goal <laughs> You kind of kill the create creativity, period. That's, you know, and that's why a lot of artists be like, I'm not doing customs. And then, but you'll see them doing customs for certain people, but they won't do customs for you. Or not just you per se, they won't do it in general, but some people that they work with in the past, they'll still do work with. That's because they are okay and they feel comfortable and they're not feeling creativity smothery. <laughs> smother it because <laughs> y'all be smothering it the uh artists okay y'all stop smothering it them um but what i'm learning to do is ignore your child boo we ain't gonna talk let me tell you something i got some good customers though i got a customer As a matter of fact i gotta reach out to you boo listen that girl gave her deposit i ain't heard a peep out of her we talked about a few other things here and now but i ain't heard not one word she like do your thing chicken wing and it's like i uh, update her and she be like okay boo that's a cuss that's the customer that you be like okay i can paint for now we're gonna see how you know her baby and i i really want to you know it, it makes me really want to put in work on her baby like you know what i mean like it's like let me let me let me go in you know i want to you know i want to make sure she get a really nice baby so and sometimes y'all be like why she taking so long with my baby girl sat down she might be trying to put in that work on your baby while you over there like thinking she dragging yours out longer than other people maybe she just don't want to rush your baby job you just don't never know sometimes we get in our feelings and we don't know on the other side now if a person have a history of taking two and three years that's your problem because you should have never sent your baby there to the first place or it should have never signed up for that artist if you know their work history is like that you know what i mean um so don't be complaining later and then another thing people do they turn around and they'll say oh i'm patient you will take however long time you want. Next thing you know, it's like, do you think you'll have it done by such and such time? Now, that's not what you said when we came into this agreement. Then they'll get on their social media and be like, yeah, she took forever with my baby. But you told her, I don't care if it take you two, three years. Now it's like, can you be done in two or three months? Changing the agreement midsection is a whole nother thing. Um, Another thing, I want a light skin baby. I want a, you know, half white baby. Let me get a, a, a biracial baby. Boom, you get the baby, you start working on the baby. You think you can do a, a, a deep chocolate tone? Girl, that's not what I signed up for. You know what I mean? Like, so, or you can have freedom. Whatever you do is fine with me. I, don't, I ain't gonna have no say in it. Just do your thing, whatever you do. I don't care what color it is. I don't care what skin tone. I just want you to paint it. It can be white, it can be black, it can be blue, it can be green. As long as you paint it, I'm okay with it. You get the baby, boom. So I was thinking about this color. And yeah, I like this hair. And I like that style. Oh yeah, and did you ever think about doing it this way? 
Well, you know, I, I, I love when you do this, but you know, I really like this one better. Okay, so what happened to, you don't care what I do? Now you care? Oh, okay. So now we done changed the story. You know, and I think, I want to think that once people are been doing customs for a long time, they are very, very used to that. So that type type of activity may or may not affect the artist. It depends on how they work or how they, what they're, you know, been conditioned to. Because people that do customs all the time, they got to be used to, you know, this stuff. They got to be used to it. And maybe they're not never, you know, desensitized from it. Wait, is that a word? Maybe they're not, they haven't gotten like comfortable with it, but they still, they they know it's coming. Um, For me, at first, you guys see me, I'm not, I can't take it. I do it, I'm stressed. Oh my gosh. Da, da, da. Now I've calmed down. It's kind of like, you know what? I'm not going to feel rushed. I'm taking deep breaths. I'm not going to feel pressured. I'm going to put my best in it because at the end of the day, when they get their baby, I want them to be happy. So if it takes me a little bit longer to get these edges in, girl, at least they're going to have a whole head full of edges. You ain't going to have no big old nickel circle in the middle of the head. That's, you know, ain't no hand. And let me stop saying that before I end up not having a... I won't do that. I won't do that. But, um, but you know what I mean? It's like, I think, you know... I think that artists and collectors can work together nicely, but I think that sometimes the expectations of artists is of the same of a store. And that's not even remotely close or remotely fair. I just want to use the word remotely. <laughs> remotely. Um, it's not fair. It's not fair because this is a human that's doing this. There is not factory done. And there's not going to be like 100% perfection. He's looking at y'all like, y'all hear my mama? What she said. He can't say period poo, but he can say what she said. We ain't doing period poo because we, we, no, we're not doing it. Yep. I just genderized him. You can't. Cause you know how y'all be like, girls can't say this, boys can't say this, girls can't do this, boys can't do that. Some people hate when you do that, but I don't want my son saying period poo. Unless, you know. <laughs> now, if he older and that's his thing and he want to say period poo then, then that's fine. But I'm not going to train him to say period poo. Right? But mama got to say it, period poo. <laughs> I had to say it, y'all. I had to say it. Okay, but anyway, oh Lord, my videos has been being so long. But yeah, so basically, I just think I have worked with some people that I really enjoy working with, and it has been like so much fun. And you know, working with their customs and stuff like that, I just felt so connected to the customer and stuff like that. And it just, but I didn't have so many orders at one time. I feel like I took too many orders at one time so I haven't really had the time to really spend as much time as I normally spend you know with each customer but every customer is different because you know like some people they they enjoy all the crazy updates and some people just let me know when my baby finished type thing so you know because sometimes I felt like I was at one point when I first started doing customs I felt like I was the person that was getting on the the, the buyer nerves like two o'clock in the morning Sorry, Casey Mom. Sorry, Loveland. My first two, which was Casey and Loveland. And I think I did, I didn't do it as much to Dearest Mom, but because I know she worked like crazy hours. The other ones did too, but you know what I mean? She just was like non problematic, kind of like just do your thing, chicken wing. Um, but yeah. Anyway. Nevertheless, I'm enjoying the process. I hope you guys find what you're looking for. I hope that you guys, um, you know, are able to, I just, I feel like sometimes we just, we don't need customs. I think that's the thing. I just feel like people don't need customs. I feel like people just think they need customs. I think there's babies out here that's just what you're looking for. You just gotta look. But. 
I get it. I get it. You want it right then, right now. You want to make sure it's the sculpt you want, the skin tone you want on that sculpt. Because it's nothing like having your favorite artist finally be painting the sculpt that you like. And you all geared up. And then she painted a whole nother skin tone that she normally don't paint. Girl, what? You know I've been waiting for four years to buy one of your babies. And this the kind of mess that you do? I am done with your shenanigans. I'm, call me. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, you'd be so upset. Like, you really did that? You really did that. This baby is so cute. I don't care what y'all say. Cody is, Cody is the goat. Cody is the goat. See you later. Bye. Poof.